What's going on guys, my name is Sebastian, this is Resale Junkie. This whole pile of stuff here is things that I just bought at the thrift store. Spent about a hundred bucks and we're gonna sell it all on eBay. So what we're gonna do right now is just jump right into it. First things first is this North Face ski suit. Now if you follow us, you saw we got one of these last week as well. And it was actually from the same thrift store. So these things are awesome guys. When it comes to like ski and snow stuff for the winter season, Snow suits are definitely like one of the more expensive things you can find, especially when they're vintage and in good shape. Like with anything, you wanna look for crazy patterns, crazy colors, because people will pay extra for those. But with they, like these things, guys, be really careful, because on the ones last week, they did have a small tear right there on the crotch. But usually on these, you need to be more careful around the bottom here, because they'll typically have like little tears and stuff if people actually used it for snowboarding or skiing. So just be really careful when it comes to those. Now, let's see. I lost Cheyenne because Oliver was kind of being a baby. So I am doing this by myself, so bear with me. This Woolrich vintage sweater. This one's pretty cool. It actually says made in British Hong Kong, which you almost don't really see on tags too often. It's definitely an older thing. Um, this is a... <clears throat> Excuse me. This is just a basic crew neck. It's a nice little knit. It's in great shape. And yeah, uh, I think we'll get probably like, well, probably 40 bucks for this, even though it's plain. By the way, that North Face, uh, the North Face ski suit, I think we're gonna get somewhere around like 100 to $130 for that. So yeah, definitely be on the lookout for those kinds of things, guys. Like they do bring a lot of money. Okay, moving on is this Western Pearl Snap shirt by the brand Rock Mount. It's a brand, USA made brand. You'll find it in any sort of like um, country area, like any sort of backwoodsy place. Rock Mount wear, just, it's a nice Western shirt. I typically find these in long sleeves. I've never found a short sleeve one, so I'm not sure what this one is gonna sell for, but I'm assuming around 25 to 35 bucks because it is in good condition and it does have the diamond snaps on it. Now, Pearl snaps, they come in all shapes and sizes, but the diamond ones are pretty freaking cool. Okay, next is, I'm not gonna lay these all the way out because they're a pair of pants, you know what pants look like, but they're by the brand Prana. Now Prana's been around for a while. It's a really popular brand. These are actually made in the USA and they're actually lined, which is super awesome. That it's really important to know and people would love to know that in the listings as well. So if you do find lined pants, make sure you actually take a photo of that and make sure you note it. But these pants, they're in fantastic condition. I think we're probably gonna get around 35 bucks, maybe 38 bucks for them, maybe even a few bucks more. We're gonna shoot for like 45. We'll list them for 45 and we'll probably take 35 as the best offer, but yeah. Be on the lookout for Prana, it's a great brand. You'll find it in any sort of outdoors hiking community. Next thing, brand that we talk about all the time, cool. There's a little logo right there. This is just a pair of basic striped brown pants. Nothing special about these. Now in previous videos, I told you a lot of cool pants do have like the model name, model number and all that stuff on them. These actually do not. They don't have anything. They just have the basic tag there, but they don't have anything on the inside pocket like some of the newer models do. But these will get around 30 bucks for all day. By the way, I don't think I mentioned it, I spent $112 for everything you see in this video. The average price is gonna be a little bit higher for everything because that North Face ski suit was actually 35 bucks. So I definitely did pay up for that. But again, I expect to get over 100 bucks for it. So it's definitely worth it. Moving on to something else that you'll definitely find in outdoors communities, especially those that are more mountain bike-esque oriented. This is the brand Jet. And what these are, are mountain bike shell shorts. Shell shorts. <laughs> when it comes to cycling shorts and things like this in general, mountain biking and road cycling have totally different requirements. So the shorts and the tops look different. When it comes to mountain bike shorts, a really easy way to identify them is typically they're gonna be a little bit longer in the leg because usually mountain bikers will wear shin guards like up here and it's just, it makes more sense for mountain biking. But they're always gonna be like this really reinforced kind of thick material. Most of them are gonna have waist straps here and you'll just kind of be able to tell. They're like super reinforced board shorts. That's the closest thing I can probably compare them to. 
but these are like 10 times more reinforced than board shorts would ever be. They're almost like between board shorts and uh, motocross pants. That's probably the closest thing. So yeah, be on the lookout for these. Jet is a really good brand. I'm not sure what these are gonna bring me. I haven't looked them up yet, but I'm assuming at least 45 bucks because they are in great shape. Like they literally look brand new. Okay, another thing that I've talked about plenty of times, the brand Ariat. I told you guys I find this brand often and then sometimes I find in the flame resistant version. These are the Ariat M4 boot cut pants in the flame resistant version. That's what the FR means, guys. That brings you so much more money if you find them in this model. Not all of them are flame resistant. They made the M4 model in a bunch of, or in a bunch of different styles and flame resistant is just one of them. So these, as long as they're in good shape, you can get at least 45 to 50 bucks for them usually um, for the flame resistant model. Now for the basic ones, you can usually get around 35 to 40 bucks. But again, be on the lookout for these things. People love them guys. Okay, now this, I don't do too much looking up and researching. I go more off touch and feel. Once you've touched expensive clothing and have been around it, you kind of understand what it feels like, what it's supposed to just, what it, how it weighs and just everything about it. I didn't look this up, but I think it's going to be nice. So it's by the brand Banner Supply Co. made in Peru. It's just a Harvard University little uh, hoodie. Just a really cute little piece, but it feels really well made. So I didn't look it up in the thrift store. And this thing was priced for like eight bucks. So I definitely paid up for it. I'm hoping that I didn't lose money on it, but whatever. It is what it is. Either way, it's super cute. So that thing will bring at least 20 to 25 bucks. When it comes to like collegiate stuff, you want to go for like those big kind of popular uh, trendy schools, right? Like every cute girl that's dumb and ditzy wants to wear a Harvard hoodie to look smart, right? Like it's just go with the trends. That's what's cool for these kids nowadays, I guess. But moving on. North Face little puffer jacket. This is a boys schmedium, okay? The boys kid stuff, be careful with it because it definitely does not bring like nearly as much money as the adult stuff but this thing was in good condition it was clean it was cheap so that's why i picked it up when it comes to anything with down especially any jackets that have been worn especially with a child just be careful guys like look for missing down look for torn seams just even put it up to the light if you put up these jackets to the light sometimes you can actually see like straight through the down especially on like ultralight jackets so just be careful that jacket I think we'll get like 25 bucks for, by the way. Seems like today's theme was North Face. This is the third North Face and the last one of today, but this is cool. This is a Gore-Tex Active Vent uh, little rain shell. It's got the hood there, but it's a great color. It's in great shape. It's only got a few dark spots on it. Um, really nice lightweight jacket, and I think we'll get around 45 bucks for it. Last but not least, this Patagonia. What is going on here? This Patagonia long sleeve flannel shirt, organic cotton, nice little shirt. These things all day, as long as they're in good condition, we get at least 25 bucks for these Patagonia flannels. But if it's a thicker one, you can usually get even up to like 35, 40 bucks for it. Since this one is a little bit lighter weight, I think we'll probably get in the $30 spectrum. But yeah, nice piece, nice shirt, uh, no major wear, no major damage to it. And uh, yeah, that was it. This is the pile. Look how cool that is. It was fun. I got out of the house for about an hour. That's, man, I found this probably in about 40 minutes or so, but it was a nice little haul. Again, I spent about a hundred bucks. I don't know what we're going to flip it into, but it should be a nice little profit, especially with the North Face uh, ski suit that should just pay for the whole haul, which is really awesome. If you guys had fun here, make sure you like and subscribe. It really helps our tiny, tiny channel grow. If you guys want to follow like, along more stuff or on TikTok or on Instagram, all that good stuff, you'll be able to find us there. And guys, take our free course. If you want to get started, if you want to have your own pile of madness in front of you, make sure you get our free guide at resellerjunkie.com. Until next time, my name's Sebastian. Cheers.